So we have our walk cycle on loop here. What if we want her to go through this walk cycle in a stationary position? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do it, and they're both super easy. The first way, let's go to frame zero, and let's select the hip of our character. In our parameters tab, go to the transforms. If you hover over X translate, it's going to bring up these icons, and we're going to lock the X translate right here. We're going to do the same for the Z translate. The Z is her forward and backward, X is side to side, and Y is up and down. So we just want the X and the Z axis. So let's take a look at it. So you can see she's walking in place now. So let's show the other way. Let's unlock these. So for this one, we're going to go into our main Ana block and go into the keyframe mode. You're going to see here where it says base. We're going to go to level one. All the keyframes are stored in the base layer. So level one is like working with another layer. So at frame zero, we're going to make a keyframe. And to make sure that that keyframe is in place, we're going to do what we went over before in the Z translate, plus and then minus again. So you can see that keyframe there. And then what we're going to do is copy the Z translate, copy that value, go to the last frame, and paste it. Now once you hit play, you can see on this one that it gives a little bit more movement to the hip. I think in this particular case, the first way we did it looked better but in some instances, you're going to want to have that lateral movement of the hip. So try out both and see what looks best for you.